Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Remember, if you enjoyed this video even just a tiny bit, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so today I want to talk about my goal of having one million dollars invested with Fundrise, how I'm gonna achieve that goal, and if I'm currently on track. Let's get started. All right, guys, so if you're new and you haven't seen any of my previous Fundrise videos, here's a quick overlook. I do have two accounts, two accounts with Fundrise, one under my name, and that account is real estate heavy. I have another account under my wife's name, which is an IPO heavy. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, guys, I'm gonna leave the links to a couple of videos down below. Make sure you watch them, okay? So you understand what's going on here much better. I'm also gonna leave them in the, in the end of the video. Um, so let's talk about it. So here's my first uh, portfolio, as uh, many of you already know. The value of this portfolio is $52,887 currently. This is the portfolio that's real, est real estate heavy. So it has a lot of e-reads. Now I'm just gonna do a quick switch here. As you can see, this is my second portfolio. This portfolio has a value of $39,540 and this portfolio is IPO heavy. Almost one third of this portfolio is invested in the fundrise ipo which is such a great opportunity for myself and for everybody out there make sure you watch my video on fundrise ipo and how you can get an early on this still private company before it goes public now let's talk about the goal so my personal goal is to have one million dollars invested total including dividend reinvestment so whenever whatever profits i make from both of these portfolios they're put back into fundrise so the total amount i want is one million dollars now let's put this into perspective if i do have one million dollars invested with fundrise let's assume that the average return for fundrise is going to be 10 percent even though it's more likely than not there will be a little bit higher 11 percent 12 percent maybe 14 percent it all depends um on what's you know what's happening in the world at that time some years could be lower some years could be higher but what we're going to do is we're going to assume an average of 10 percent so if i have a million dollars invested with fundrise after that i'm gonna make at least 10 percent a year that means i will make hundred thousand dollars a year from pure profits from fundrise after i reach that goal and that is why that is my goal because hundred thousand dollars a year for just keeping your money you don't need to maintain it you don't you don't need to do anything that's a great thing because most people's salaries will never reach hundred thousand dollars and that is that that is why that is my goal now let's take a look um as you can see uh, we're gonna use this uh, real estate heavy portfolio as an example as an as an example so as you can see i'm at the home page here and anyone can create a goal as you could see um if you could see here just look where my mouse is I started investing with Fundrise December 30th, 2019. Now let's assume, because this is only one day before 2020 started, right? So let's assume that I started investing on January 1st, 2020, uh, which is about uh, one year and nine months ago. Now, as you can see, for most of the time, I started with only a thousand dollars and uh, I kept depositing $500 a month and so on. It's not until uh may 15th 2021 that i decided to put um over twenty four thousand into my portfolio and then pretty much another nine thousand or so this is where you see this big spike in my portfolio value so um let's create a goal so we're gonna assume okay so we're gonna assume that i've been invested with fundrise um for uh for about one year and nine months right so let's assume that we'll call it 21 months so we're gonna uh, click here on create a goal and as you can see what uh, it will ask you right away what kind of goal would you like to create now all this other all this stuff the one that you should pick is build wealth because anything less than building wealth is that you're not doing this for the right reasons like especially if you choose income maybe you, sh you shouldn't be with fundraise to begin with this platform should be for building wealth so i'm just gonna click build wealth here and i'm gonna a goal name um i wanna be rich that'll, that'll that's gonna be um, the uh, the name here 
Okay, so we're gonna click continue. How soon would you like to achieve this goal? So me personally, I want to achieve this goal by the time I'm 45. At 45 years old, if I could retire or at least work part-time on my currently full-time job, that's going to be an amazing thing. I'm currently 32 years old. Uh, I, I want this goal. I want to have a million dollars invested in here by the time I'm 45. So we're going to do 13 years. So here we go. We're going to put a 13. We're going to calculate. Now, what is your target goal amount? Now, um, they give you these suggestions. Um, I'm going to click other and I'm going to put one million dollars, one million dollars and we're going to click view goal. OK, let's take a look. So in order to achieve this goal of having one million dollars uh, with Fundrise, uh, you see the target date is 2034. That's 13 years from now. Um, I need to invest three thousand and fifty five dollars a month in order to get to that goal now as you could look at this chart uh, they give you the average of about one million here however depending on the economic environment at that time it could go as high as 1.2 million or if there's some sort of a recession and the market is down it could be as low as eight hundred seventy two thousand dollars neither of those numbers are actually bad i would take either one of those in 13 years right that's an amazing thing um so let's take a look so it's three thousand five hundred fifty five dollars a month okay guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull out the calculator and we're gonna do the math of how much what is the average amount of money that i invest per month with fundrise based on my current account uh, current accounts um, uh, amount, right? So if you combine both of my accounts, the total value is 92,420. So let's put this in 92,420. And remember how we said that I've been investing with Fundrise for one year, nine months. So we're going to call it 21 months. We're going to divide it by 21. And my average monthly contribution to Fundrise currently is actually $4,400. So what this means is that I'm actually going to achieve my goal about 20 to 25 percent faster. So we're talking about 10 years. So I'm going to have if I continue doing what I'm doing, which I don't think I will be able to. OK, but if I do, I will be able to achieve my goal in about 10 years. So now let's edit the goal. Let's edit the goal. I want to be rich. Um, here we go. We got one million dollars here. So instead of 13 years, let's put 10 years. 4700 no this will not work because i'm only investing 4400 on average so let's put 11 years good that's actually a great uh well it's, it's actually somewhere between 10 and 11 years so as you could see if i invest at the at the same level that i'm currently investing i will be able to get to 1 million dollars and in, in somewhere in between 10 to 11 years now guys so check this out here's what happens once I reach a million dollars, I'm going to be making a hundred thousand a year, right? Now, now just think about it. So after a year, I'm going to have 1.1 million, right? And then we're going to take 10% of that, right? So instead of 1.1 million, it's going to next year, it's going to be 1.2. It actually adds up faster than you think. And this is the way to build wealth, right? It's not to take your dividends that you made in a month and then go and buy yourself a Starbucks coffee or anything like that. The way to do it is to invest consistently. Unless something happens in your life where you have to withdraw the money, some crazy emergency, something going on, that's understandable. But if you can continue living on uh, the way you're living with your current salary, without um, relying on your investments for supplemental income. That is the way to build wealth. You cannot build wealth if, if you keep taking the money out. Keep taking the money out. Don't leave it. If you keep trading in and out of stocks or anything like that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave comments down below. What is your goal? What is your goal timeline? And are you on track with your goal? What will you do in order to be able to achieve this goal and get this financial freedom? Now, guys, remember, this is just one of my investments. I will be making videos on my Robinhood portfolio, on my actual physical real estate portfolio, and of course, on my ETF portfolio 
and yep you guessed it my crypto portfolio thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care don't forget to like and subscribe